In this video, we'll be taking a quick look at how you can use Sugar Market Forms to help your customers manage their email preferences. Before we dive in, please note that this functionality works with Sugar Market Preference Lists, so be sure to have your preference list or lists ready to go before building your form. To begin, we have a newly created form and we'll need to input the required information as well as select Email Preferences as the form type. Once we have completed our form's basic information, we can move on to the build step. Taking a look at the form fields, we'll notice email preferences and unsubscribe as options as basic form fields. The email preferences field will allow customers to subscribe to or unsubscribe from a specific preference list. To configure this field, we'll first give it a field name as well as a field label. The field label will be what appears to customers on the form. Once that's done, we'll map this field to a specific preference list. There are also additional configuration options available, which will let you control how this field appears and behaves on your form. We'll go ahead and apply those changes. In addition to the email preferences field, we also have the unsubscribe field. This field will let customers unsubscribe from all emails via a form. Once this field is added to your form, it is automatically mapped to the sugar market opt-out field. The unsubscribe field can only be added once to each form. So we'll give this a quick name and apply our changes. Now that we have an email preferences and unsubscribe field on our form, we'll take a look at the preview to see how it appears to our customers. Looks good. And that concludes our quick look. We hope this video gave you the information you need to start managing email preferences with Sugar Market Forms.